But never I say my pen dream TV. Pen dream TV there. I see them. Yopo. Hi, Pen Dream TV. Remember, I'm going to no, make sure you subscribe to your channel. No, no, click the bell. No, so say the news to her. Subscribe to me. I can't tell now. So wait, you be. Now, I'm going to say Pen Dream TV. There, you're quiet. You be by. Next year, you be a brave one. Hey, yeah, fellas. So for sure, quite chill. Yeah, yeah. And this, remember, can see about go. Oh, good morning, Ghana TV. Eh, Metro TV. So, and now, now you're in PPC. Rest of men say she also in a. Who is there, Randy Abbey? There are no more in our Sylvester, men, Sakwa Kase, Mahama, and your messenger, Papa. In TN, one was saying this before Saturday, but I don't know, I'm your fellow, so for sure, quite today. Then you ought to be my name, MPP, and tie MPP. And I now do down quite good for a do, but with me, Alan Cash, and your more me favorite Tom Berini, or more flag bearer ship, Nina, fellas. Ofo su kwa che enja o mwa eni o disende o mo so harshly Katro mo se o Since they are 8 years tenure in government They have been utterly useless at che So mo go gana ofo eni mo asipan a isan che se ene Ge togo bokina ni Nigeria economy e ye strong che en gana Na che se ga banywe ya banywa o mo nim fe Inti sa A in semna sevesta men sa e kase E mahama e nye good messenger no a year MPP flag bearers in an outdoor to some moon wine and a year better a chain Mahama and Unti Sylvester men said Minya no ekans asem no and their fellows of Ukusuka chan fan channel crowd descend you or party in your ass one and your ass to a young corner and call a video. Yes, Sly wants to commit suicide. Why? Political suicide. What are you talking about? And President Mama is not a good messenger, but even Bahunia. It's a good messenger. Please, where is Bogan? Why can't you cry? Why you discuss with the mama? I'm not allowed to discuss anybody in your party. I can even discuss you if I want. Discuss me. Discuss me. Even Bogan, even Bogan, you have to be a credible messenger. Even Bogan. The most discredited, please. Oh, right. I can't cry. The most discredited politician in the last 40 years. Whose hopelessness as head of the economic management team has led us here? Even he says he's a messenger. The man who lampoons the government for leaving the debt of 120 billion and helms a team that has increased our debt to 600 billion since he's a messenger and he should be listened to. So when you say that President Obama once said that Daniels have short memories and that uh, he thinks he can benefit from that, right? Randy, if that were not the case, you would have been booted out in 2020 for an actually useless performance in government. So you think Daniels has short memories? No, I'm making that. I'm, I'm, I'm analyzing what you said. Mm -hmm. You use that phrase as a basis to ground your submission. And when I'm saying that if that were not the case, your MPP government would have been booted out in 2020 for utterly useless governors. Look, what we have done to this country amounts to a crime against Ghanaians. The very idea that you are even putting up our Miao and Anchemantin to contest for the presence of this country is offensive. It stinks to the higher servants. After the economic atrocities you have committed against the people of this country. Even Baumia says he is a messenger. Who should be listened to? The man who complained about exchange rate atrocities and once took it to 17 cities says he is a good messenger. The man who complained about a B minus rating and has defaulted on her debt says he is a good messenger. The man who has taken 87 billion Ghana cities of people's borrowings to government says he's a good messenger. And the man who didn't do that is a bad messenger. Honey, please. You see, every metric that is used to assess good governance that the MPP latches on to will be demolished. They have been appalling, utterly useless in government, Randy, without a provocation. And when you are useless in government, you are thrown out. You don't present people to come and contest elections. Why? Alan Chamanzi, was he not a member of that so-called solid economic movement? He thinks that because Baumia was a poster boy, he can get away with it. I mean, Randy, in what way is Alan Chamanzi ever going to be your mama in the, in, the, in the debate or contest about performance? <laughs> is he not one of those people who have destroyed our economy? Look, how, Randy, how can anybody look at this Ghanaian economy and say that based on it, the MPP should get a pass? And that President Mama, who as head of the management team of this economy, in 2011, achieved the best ever outcomes we've had in about 50 years, does not qualify to contest for president. So please, we relish that debate. Tell the people of Ghana 
Whether a government that defaults on our debt is better than one that did not default. A government that won't economic crimes are committed with gusto once its mandate renewed. But the one that did not do that should be booted out. And I'm surprised that for somebody who has taken S. Garcia before, just like myself, he does not appreciate what S. Garcia is. So he confuses that with the pension of the former president. Former president, they receive pensions. So President Kufo receives him. Had President Rollins been alive, he would be receiving him. That is not S. Garcia. And S. Garcia is a lump sum payment that is given to political appointees of a certain category. Who is it? Office. That is what President Rama is talking about. The moment he is elected president, he will stop receiving the pension. Because the constitution does not allow presidents and former presidents to work. So they must subsist. So they are paid a pension. So he must delineate the issues properly. Before you want to attack somebody, you must understand what he has said. He didn't understand what President Mama said, and he's attacking him. Ah. Randy, he is, he is raving and ranting about garlands. The criminality that President Kufo supervised, and I'm so sorry that I have to be this blunt, that he supervised. When he carved out state lands, like confetti and shared it for any and everybody in his government, right? I have that list. One day I'll give it to you to publish. It is a, it's a, it's a role of shame. This graceful looting and stealing of garlands. That is what President Mama wants to keep. He says, well, President Mama has garlands. Why? President Kufo's daughter. That is something your daughter who has been given an acre of land to put up a plush restaurant. Where did she get it from? <laughs> and the radio station that is built. Right? I beg you. No, I beg you. I beg you. I beg you. Oh, I beg you. Who I'm, I'm saying who that publish any list. Look, publish any list. His children. Oh. Who publish everything in this country? Like, don't publish any list. Don't make a mistake. mistake. Eh, as they say in Ghana, don't make a mistake. Mistake. Where did she get her land from? You are coming to talk about lands. Everybody in the Kufu, in the Kufu government, everybody, every Tom, they can have it. In fact, and after they didn't receive it to land, even uncompleted affordable housing, they shared it like confetti. Drivers of ministers, their wives, everybody they knew was getting some. You want to discuss that matter? Bring it on. Why? President Obama says the constitution, the retirement arrangements are such that the state is supposed to provide you with accommodation. They have provided some for President Kufo. He suggested that instead of building him a new one, let him stay where he stayed, which is a very small accommodation for a president. He endured that. He said no, and he humiliated him. The man lives in his own accommodation. You are supposed to give him office space. You haven't done that. You've done it for President Kufo. The man lives, works, or operates from his own office. So he does not require you to look after him. But the idea that because something has been going on for some time, we cannot change, reflects the government or the thinking of a party that has a sense of entitlement to the public purse. They think that Ghanaians must continue to finance their lavish lifestyles. So when somebody wants to reform the system and bring an end to the rape that you are perpetrating on the public because you have announced against him. President Obama says nobody in this government will take S. Garcia. Your position is that you want S. Garcia to be continued. So tell the people of Ghana, tell the people of Ghana that you want to pay S. Garcia after you have voted for in 2024. President Obama says he won't pay it. And let the people of Ghana make a determination which of these two positions is in their interest. If you cannot abolish the thing, don't go criticizing another man. For President Obama has done absolutely no wrong by tabling this for discussion. And it's like that lie about we not being able to distribute truck must stop. And I've been on your program and I've told you that in the period that we're in power, close to a million boxes of chalk was distributed for schools. It is, it is documented, it is recorded. So that lie that we couldn't uh, what call it distribute chalk. Should be discontinued, should be dismissed. Why? You, you, Randy, no, please. <laughs> we are entering the fourth year in which they've been unable to write textbooks. Something as basic as that. Textbooks. For four years. You prefer to pump $58 million into digging useless holes in the middle of Accra to build cathedrals. You import stones from Israel to build, build cathedrals in Accra. That is what you want to use public funds for. President Obama says you would have none of it. He never requested for a private jet in which he could take his bath. You are doing it shamelessly. And you want to defend this. You tell the people of Canada that they have short memory, so you will remind, you remind them of what? Randy, what in the present moment's tenor comes close to the appalling attack that this government has launched on the public purse? How are you ever going to win a debate against President Mama? His record is vastly superior to anything that you, Baumia or Alan office. Randy, I beg, oh, let me make my submission. I beg. No, by Randy, you, Baumia, ah, you have half time left. So, Randy, Baumia, Alan, I'll give you five minutes. Randy, Baumia, Alan, Chemantin, almost everybody who has showed interest 
in the MP flag ship has been part of the economic management. What have been the outcomes? Is this not the worst economic situation we've had in our history? And when do you remember that we defaulted on our loans? Something as basic as that, you can't do it. You've made us a laughing stock. You humiliated us. Countries like Togo and Benin and Sierra Leone and Liberia are doing better than Guinea are doing better than us. And you tamp your chest and tell us that you are going to compare compare records. What record are you going to survive? Right? There's not one, one, one thing that you have done better than the NDC. The very idea that President Mama's record is superior to yours makes him better than anybody you present in your party. Anybody you present will be inferior to President Mama because his record is better. That's why I mentioned by Omiya. This is what does he do? He goes to church to dance more heartily than the Pope. Perhaps he should adopt the Christian name. Because he finds that that is where he finds solace. When you take him on on the substantive matters, he falls short. So he has run away, he has fled, shown a clean pair of heels. As they say in the or the one when it comes to economic discussions, who would have thought that the one who was fronting all the economic propaganda, telling lies, would today run away from the very subject? He doesn't want to discuss the economy. He wants to be a priest now. And Alan, as I have said, has been a part and parcel of this mess. When Baumia announced the economic team, he had a prominent place. He had pride of place in that list. He too would be asked questions about his tenor. It is just as well that many believe that Baumia will emerge. So perhaps he may escape scrutiny because he won't show up in the first place. But on the basis of what the MPP has done, there is no reasonable Ghanaian, not one, who will vote to renew their mandate. Not one. You cannot destroy a country like this and be rewarded with a renewal of mandates. Andy, what did we lose elections for? Right. When we lost elections, inflation was at 15.4%. You took inflation to 54% and you want to be maintained. Randy. When we lost elections, Randy. 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 In November last year, it went to 17 cities to a dollar. And Randy, the pain that that cost for businesses and households is unspeakable. You put people through this and you tamp your chest and say, you are, What have you done better than the end? Say, Why? You think the rule of Ghana are Dallas? Right. They will reward you for such right. hopelessness right. and right. such. It is said the engineer here and when your fellow so for Sukha chain to miss another boy for ye pa and they were tell it tell you MPP for uh son and sema yeah Sylvester Men said they can't can I didn't tell you I've shared that before because you know an idea dance yes and all uh yes yeah and Christ Mahama was in the saint in same brace seen a ten or anointed gana for dear before at Tiano. Then so comparing Mahama administration as a a year uh, 2012 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, Will make any Mahama lava be angry. Then, when the name of Felix of Sukachi, a buffu ye pa and ye, or descend ye were ye Baumian and Nado, a Lancash Munyan, I saw it. Muse, a Lancash is no better than any better than a uh, Mahama. A son say, a by Baumian, although was the poster boy for MPP. I don't think I'll land cash. If I so if I own now, they be pray. I have flag bearership now. They be contested 2024. Now, if you ma, I land cash. I land share Martin. He was part of the economic management team, and he was a minister for uh, trade and industries. In any major thing, I now buy the position in government no, was very major so he cannot exempt himself from uh, this administration and be presenting the one since they don't have a list of a sukachi a day a tell it tell it this and the about me answer about me or cry the orange and uncle because for the last 40 years you can't person a politician or a discredited discredited i have a woman it's an insane thing be brow car you know when to me and yet time i am ppa but power some about me i didn't seem pure so he can yes and slt questions 170 mf um 
vice president awanyan be biko and the question is no on one can say it means of the agana economy na atiti apan samti and the ba ubi an nanko ye economic risk da ubi an pp42 and the uba economy so anu ayira o jwane a on pe economy hon sen sen bie tia o sorry a degeta a degeta an sen na oka we ni sema ye fellow so fusu kwa chie jine hon se ni ye bo fu ye pa waki kebi a tre ye ba ubi mi alan cash ni entire mpp for ni nyana e san en sema e ye sylvester mensa e kokati a mohamed me demandu jinsi mesian majwa jintro comment section me demandu se de biya muti